Hi, my name is Monji. I lead Astra at Topaz Labs. Hi, and I'm Erasmo Romero, and I am the product specialist at Topaz Labs. Astra is a new product from Topaz Labs. It's a creative upscaler for video. So Erasmo and I are here to show you how it works, give you some tips and tricks on how to get the best out of Astra. So Astra has two different modes, mm -hmm. right? Creative versus precise. So why don't we start by explaining the difference? Right. Okay. So the main difference is precision mode or the creative mode, which also has two different uh, subsets in that section. Um, when you're going after precision mode is essentially trying to use your original footage mm -hmm. and trying to bring respect and um, bring the details out of the original source. Yep. Uh, whatever your input is, it's going to do its best to make it as precise to what exists already. Yeah. When you're moving into the more creative side of things, it's essentially going to elaborate, enhance, and bring additional new details. So it's basically making yours go up to 11. Like It's going to go to the next, the next yeah. steps. So creative mode imagines details that were not there, whereas precise mode is really trying its best to respect the original look and details that's exactly it got it okay so let's go into the creative mode like what how does it work and what are some of the creative controls and maybe we can just kind of explain it on a real example you know what? let's jump in i have an example right here yep. um the input here is we have uh, an astronaut playing a piano in the desert. Love it. Something fun. Um, on the original one, you could see there's a lot of compression, a lot of stuff going on. There's some mm -hmm. detail, but stuff missing. Um, going so straight, this is uh, the input. This is the input, correct. Gotcha. Um, what we're going to look at first to show the differences, I'm going to show precision. And what that's doing is simply bringing way more detail of that exists already in the original um, input. So there's more details on the ground, more details uh, on the folds of the outfit and so forth. Um, but when you want to start moving to the creative side of things, mm -hmm. we'll start a little subtle first. Well, with the actual one called subtle. Yeah. Um, that's so it, just to recap, there's two different modes. Correct. One of them is subtle. Subtle. And then there's a bolt mode. Correct. And we're going to look at the difference, how this uh, video will turn out. Exactly. So let's look at the subtle mode first. So I'm going to click on that. And there we go. So now that it's loaded, it's bringing a little bit more details on the plants, the cactus, uh, some more of the folds. As you can see, it's still mm -hmm. paying respect to the original source. It's relatively close, but it is enhancing quite a bit as well, mm -hmm. as you can see in all these little details. When we move on to bold, on the other hand, mm -hmm. it is moving beyond that. It's going to push the fantastical elements out of it and bring more, more details. More creativity and imagination. Exactly, exactly. So you can see the the outfit's a little bit shinier. Yeah, I said the cactus. The is, cactus, uh, more the, details. Exactly, exactly. So I'm gonna just go ahead and play this for a second, just to give you an idea of what it looks like in motion. Yes. So it's it's a fun piece, and it it works really well with something like this. Great. What would you say, like, as a creative? When should I use precise mode versus creative mode? And within creative mode, right? Like, what is a good uh, use cases or what like what are different type of videos where it makes sense to use the subtle versus uh bold mode um when using precision mode mm -hmm. you probably want to use it more for uh footage that's been filmed live yeah um think about it every single day and that we are out enjoying yeah. life we know and we could see what reality is so mm -hmm. reality has a certain limitation uh, before the boundaries get pushed into the fantastical element. That being said, with live film media, mm -hmm. the precision mode is excellent um, to be able to just bring out those those details that yeah. were lost, right? So let me go and jump into this old, old film here. This old film is very small. There's a lot of compression and, you know, this small is... Small as in... Small no. in size. It's 320 by Pixel. pixels exactly it's okay very, so very we small video. take that video and upscale it to 4k with Correct. precise mode with right? precise mode and this is the result here's the input here's the result with it so it okay. brings all the details that exist that that it could find and mm -hmm. enhances them so again here is our input and here is our output gotcha so you when you have uh live action or footages with faces where you definitely don't want creativity that's when you would use the precise mode exactly yeah. exactly um 
moments where creative work very well is for shots like this. So here's an animation, and this is the input right here. And if we play it through, doesn't look too bad. With subtle mode, it's already enhancing the line work and bring a little bit mm. details you can see in the clouds, yeah. the town in the background. Um, but going the next level with creative, it pushes this a whole different level. Now oh, we have yeah. details in those mountains that just never existed. We have all these little details of the buildings in the background. The clouds are way more defined. Even the grass yeah, has way yeah. more detail. And I, I see the color popped a little bit too. Exactly. Okay. So when you, if you don't mind some creativity and details being added, mm -hmm. then the creative or the, even the bold is really powerful. Right. And the types of media that really lends itself well with creative mm -hmm. uh, modes would be something like animation, yeah. CGI, or uh, AI. Yeah. Um, those type of artistic mediums mm -hmm. are excellent for something because it's yeah. it doesn't necessarily um, rely on reality. So yeah. it allows the fantastical to be blown up a little bit and makes it exciting and experimental. Yeah. Uh, so, so Razma, why don't we talk about the limitations? Right. Okay. So there's a few limitations to be considerate about. Mm -hmm. um, one of them is the the compression or the quality mm -hmm. of the video to start off with. Yeah. Um, Think of it this way. If there's just not enough information, the goal mm -hmm. of the creative is to try to make some sort of details information out of that. Yeah. So if you can't make out what it is, it's going to be inventive, right? Yeah. Guess so it's it. Gonna be, guess. It's, it's going to guess. guess. Yeah. Exactly. It's a best guess. Uh, one example I could show is, so for th this example, Precision does a very good job of recognizing that this gentleman back here has a jacket, an old suit, mm -hmm. and it works really well. However, some of the details not exactly there because mm -hmm. it just never existed, right? So if you go to subtle or even um, bold, it starts making the Javit very fluffy. Oh, okay. So it, it's quite funny. Like it doesn't look natural anymore. Yeah. So this is an extreme case where, I mean, his suit just disappears. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So this is a prime example where it doesn't work. Another one would be, yeah. um, this is also one of my favorites. When the gentleman f does his flip, so here's the original input. When the gentleman does his flip, there's a lot of compression and there's just not a lot of good lighting around his stomach area. So yeah. there's no real detail. It doesn't know what it is at this point. Um, with subtle, it starts to create this uh, yep. Shrek looking face. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in the, in the emerging stomach. from the stomach. Emerging from the stomach and especially in the bold. I, we have okay. <laughs> a full on face. So this is a certain case in which it just doesn't work as yeah. well. Um, but if you're willing to have fun with the experimentation, <laughs> I mean, go have fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> then what, what are some cases where the bold mode is like really, really good at? Uh, okay. Um, let me show you. I have a really good example with an animated clip. This is a CG clip here this is the original input mm -hmm. um so the detail is very poor um but there is consistent consistency with the animation now when you go to bold it brings all kinds of great detail yeah and you can see in the character's face and the hair and the buildings there's actual consistency going on with it um, and it holds relatively well so it's quite impressive, especially seeing where it originated from the original input. All right, that's it for today. And you can go to astra.app to try it out yourself. And we can't wait to see what you will create with it. It was fun having you on board with this uh, journey to what Astra has to provide. Um, we are looking forward to see what other exciting things you guys can make.